Hello guys, welcome again once again to the channel. Alright, we have their Chromebook 13.7310 to install Windows on it. Alright, so um, we can see the system and it's booting. So let's try and take off this waterproof. Then we get straight to the point and see what we can do and how to do this. Escape and um, refresh button and power button together takes us here. You know these points takes us here and we know what it is it's going to show us how to disable the, uh, the 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 os verification then we have to disable it about disabling it we try to get to the developer mode all right so we press enter for this how to press enter and we have disabled the verification of the os ctrl d to enter the to go to the developer mode and here we have another information that the owner have disabled the developer mode okay so we have to switch back to the verified mode okay so this is the um screw that you have to remove it's written there for the protection rights to disable the protection rights let's see if it works out okay so we have removed the screw so let's go back and see if it's going to allow us to pass okay and it's booting it's going back to the um verification um os okay and we see it's still showing the same information so how do you do about this all right i'll show you another method of doing this so let's lose that everything we have to lose the whole entire system we we'll lose the board out and uh, see what we can do the other method i'm going to use is uh, to to download the firmware from another site and install in the BIOS. That's the only way to do this. If you have such information, so that's the only way you can do this. Because I've not seen any other alternative. If you have another alternative, you can still share with me because this is the only way I've been using and it's working very well. It's, it's perfectly working very well. Okay, let's try and take off the BIOS. Okay, this is the BIOS. For those that don't know, that's the BIOS. You have to take um be careful when you want to remove it and you have to take note of the dot that dot is the starting point it has its pins and the pin number one is from the dots you use and know okay let's get to our programmer all right here is our programming machine so we plug it and uh, we insert our chip that's our chip and make sure the red dots goes to the um to the pin number one okay and check whether it's firmly attached very well before you continue okay this is the board number you have to copy out in your system to download in the beam file the beam file okay okay you are going to try that now let's see uh, let's get to um let's just type in the beam the main number the the board number and also if you want to get a schematic of any board that is the number you use that's like a manufacturing number it's all written on any board that you want to so let me check if this is recording okay and it is okay let's continue so we type in the number we type in the number i'm not going to read it out but it's there on the board you can have a different board and a different um, number so you have to be very careful to know which of them is the number have to search for and um, schematics numbers board manufacturer number sorry okay so after typing it we are going to check which side is going to have this being fine actually i'm looking for the one that has the operating the windows operating system firmware not not the chrome os and firmware okay Vinafix has it, but uh, I don't have any subscription of Vinafix for now. All right, let's check my Telegram group. I have some Telegram groups that can help me. Okay, let's paste it. Okay, don't have on that group. Let me check the other ones. Let me just remove this bin fan, put only the name and see. 
alright no they don't have okay what am i going to do let me check the next one uh, still don't have it it's not there oh uh, the next one please this one should have okay see don't have maybe it's the way i'm searching it let me change let me type the model number of the system then chromebook um 13 7 3 10. let's see if it's available okay we have something like that okay it's not that's not it let me copy and put in the next group all right i think this yeah it is here's the firm the bios um, firmware all right let's download it and try it definitely it should work it should work it should work okay that's it okay we extract the files it should be in the folder any files i'm downloading from the telegram gets to it's a folder all right that's the firmware the beam firmware all right let's see if is a windows on or if is a, a chrome or um, firmware okay i can i can determine only when i've installed it in the bios okay let's test the bios chip is okay okay we open and uh, you can actually you can actually save the former firmware if you want to if you can actually save it you can read from your own software if you have a a, a programmer machine you can read then you save it before you you um, copy in a new firmware that is open a new firmware beam file like this and install because when you don't have a, a, a option of that one working you may return it back okay but yeah i just don't want to save let me just see it's going to work just believe it's going to work out okay so that's it okay we do auto run to run it okay it's working it's running so the the sweetest part in this process is you don't have to type all the code and uh, go to um, Dr. Chromebook to get the code and download the firmware um, software. This is the hardware way of doing it. Okay, let's see if it works first, and I'm sure it's going to work. Except if it is a if it is a, a chrome firmware that's inside the beam file if it is a windows and it's going to work all right let's you make sure when you are letting your your bios you let it very well did you let it very well so that it doesn't no legs are detached like you can also use a multimeter to check if the readings is correct like using continuity to test it so let's just couple let's assemble the system see if it works out okay that will take your time to couple back your system you don't need to put everything in place to test but uh i just want to for the sake of the video i'm going to just put everything um in place to make sure everything is in good shape and it's working because i promise in my i promise in my video that i'm going to do something a video like this where i'm going to show you how the another method of doing um windows running windows sorry on your on your chromebook okay using the bios chip okay programming the bios chip yeah we almost done here so let's just 
after fixing this this is the white card and this is the battery we are fixing the the storage device which is the ssd so let's see if it's going to work I just feel that it's going to work i just feel it's easy all right yeah it's working yeah that firmware is a it's a firmware from uh let's try and and reload it reload the new windows and windows on it okay just plug in our charger just not to drain the battery down okay and we choose our windows and then the next process are very easy to do what we need to make sure we get for you is um is the drivers and in all my videos i'll try as possible any of the driver i have to uh, give you i'll give it out for free okay the ones that are available definitely i'll give it out for free and i'm um, going to also give out this one for free i have the drivers for the mouse pad and i have the drivers for I think that's the mouse pad i have the speaker works automatically on this kind of dell it works automatically after installing the windows 10 lights on this it works automatically so i think you don't have any problem when it comes to the speaker um it's only the mouse and uh, what again i think that's all and people were asking me about uh, drivers for the uh, brightness which is the video graphics drivers um when you install chromebook when you saw even install windows on the chromebook okay um it's hardly that the the display graphics will work with it is it's kind of not compatible i don't know why because i haven't seen a driver for it i don't know if anyone has idea anyone has seen a drivers like for the video graphics and works your brightness is working the you can you can duplicate like project um that would be very nice i'll be very very happy to have that conversation with that person and get such information okay all right that's the drivers all right let's, let's look for it i think it's here there should be here yeah that's it so you know first of all you have to install this microsoft visual to help install others drivers okay so yeah and it's working it's working the mouse is working wow that's the driver you use that's the driver you use and it's working okay if you find this video helpful please do well to subscribe like and share my videos to those who need it all right we are done here thank you for watching see you in my next video Bye for now.